Hello, my name is Catherine Augustine, and I'm from Consire's Agile Practices. I'm here to introduce Lisa Atkins. She's a certified Scrum trainer and a certified Scrum coach. She's also an Agile coach, and she's recently authored a book called Coaching Agile Teams. So, what, Lisa, what can you tell us about the book? Well, um, I intended the book to be a companion, and in fact, that's the subtitle of it. It's called Coaching Agile Teams a companion for Agile coaches, Scrum Masters, and project managers in transition. So what I really intend for it to be is for people who are practicing as any of those things um, on Agile teams and um, for them to come to it in the morning and say, oh my goodness, here's what's happening on my yeah, team. Yeah. Leaf through it or look through the index and just find the thing that they need for that moment. So it's, uh, it can be read cover to cover, but it doesn't need to be read that way. You can really just pick up the thing that's most useful to you at any given time. Great, so use that as a reference. Yeah. And who would you say this book is most applicable to? It's applicable to people who um, have practices and principles of Scrum or whatever Agile framework they're using up and running. And now they say, oh my gosh, what am I going to do about all the stuff the team is bringing to you? The conflict, their lack of ability to collaborate. Um, what new skills do I need as a facilitator for all these various Agile meetings that are in my framework? That's the type of stuff this book answers. It's also, um, the book is also about the inner journey of becoming an Agile coach because um, it turns out that a lot of what we do as Agile coaches is help other people on their transformations to becoming good Agilists. And so to do so, we have to be on our own transformations. This is about that inner journey. So is this something that's just for Scrum Masters or Agile coaches as opposed to an Agile manager? Oh, yeah, actually, the, the Agile manager thing is what a lot of people tell me. I didn't really intend the book for Agile managers. I was very specific about who I wanted the book to be for. Um, but even in one of the praise quotes at the very beginning of the book, um, Rachel Davies, who's an author of another good book called Agile Coaching, um, she says this is really a good book for managers. Great. Okay. So uh, now that you've now that you've written the book, what's up next for you? What's happening right now? Um, I get to coach Agile coaches, which is what's happening now, which I absolutely love. Um, because it turns out there are a bunch of coaches really on their own journeys toward high performance and they need someone who is both a work-life coach and an agile coach to bring the coaching and the mentoring to them to help them become the best coach they can be. And to do the stuff their team is calling them to be able to do. Great. That sounds good. So what do you think the outlook is for agile coaching? Um, Wow, okay, so if this, <laughs> if this is the full arc that Agile Coaching is going to go through, my guess is that we're just here at the very beginning, just starting. And already I'm personally overwhelmed with the demand for coaching circles, for the coaching Agile Teams class, for the inspiration emails that I send out weekly to coaches who signed up for that. Um, there's so much hunger for this skill set in our community right now. So. So I'm partnering with other people who are professional coaches and agile coaches to help deliver the types of things I do so that I'm not a bottleneck. I think these skills are so important to get out into our community. So you think that there will be more agile coaches? Is that what you're trying to facilitate at this point? More is a possibility. Really great ones is what I'm really all about. Yeah, that's a good outlook for that. <laughs> yeah. And you've also been teaching a training class. Yeah, there are, um, there are two classes in the whole coaching Agile teams kind of curriculum that I envision right now. Um, and those classes really go um, into the experiential side of what I talk about in the book. Um, it's all the stuff I couldn't write on a two-dimensional piece of paper. It's all the exercises I do with my teams. We do that sort of stuff in the class. Um, and the coaches leave my classes with a personal improvement backlog. The things they're going to change about their coaching to be better for their, for their teams. So what specific topics are you addressing that seem to be really important mm. to Agile coaches right now? Well, you know, it, the, thing, the really big thing the, that the classes do is they bring in skills from all the allied disciplines that we as coaches need, but they can it contextualize as a for Agile. So it makes it very specific to an Agile environment, very specific to what Agile coaches encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, so I think it's really accessible. Accessibility. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
and she's going to be really accessible for everybody. December 8th and 9th here in Santa Ana. She's teaching one of her Coaching Agile Team's workshops. And that's going to be available for you guys soon.